us a great deal, man, carrying all this crap with us. <laughs> Nine hours. That's what we are looking for. Nine hours. Nine hours. My friend Armando in Barcelona, man. Barcelona, Spain. The first time. Vamos a comer, hombre, en el restaurant El Patrón. Que dicen que la especialidad ahí son los mariscos y las pachas. Muchachos, ¿estamos listos? Que lo paséis muy bien. Rubén, gracias por todo. En el viaje vais a hacer Pirineos, ¿no? Me imagino. Sí, Pirineos, Pirineos. ¿Qué pasó, tío? Uh. Bueno, aquí estamos cruzando, dándole la vuelta a la Plaza España y el Cabildo de Barcelona. Today we arrived in Barcelona and we rented the bikes. I took a little quick trip to Tibildavo, uh, which is a uh, tallest uh, hill here in the city. And at the top of the hill, there is a temple. It's a landmark for people from Barcelona. It's a beautiful place. And uh, right here, through these very twisty roads, it's just unbelievable. It was just beautiful. start our trip. First up, Cadaqués. Guys ready? Yes! Show some excitement, come on. Yeah! How is it, Annie? Incredible,
Barcelona around 12.30 uh, this afternoon. And uh, we are right now on the coastal road to Cadaqués. And um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's just beautiful. The views of the Mediterranean Ocean, the cliffs, it's just out of this world. Beautiful scenery, absolutely stunning. We're about an hour and 15 minutes away. It's just a beautiful, beautiful road. Very twisty. We're planning on... Oh, that, he, that guy was holding ass. Hopefully, uh, he's got a police uh, radar detector. So there is uh, a lot of policemen, and, you know, you really have to maintain the speed limit. But nonetheless, it's still a really, really cool uh, road. Actually, riding these beautiful twisties right now, and it's just unreal. So, so cool. I mean, you really don't have too much time to get some speed before you have to slow down again because the uh, twisties are really, really tight, which is exactly what I like. It really keeps you on the edge of your seat, if you will. We're probably about, um, uh, maybe about an hour, 45 minutes away from Cadaqués. But this uh, Costa Brava road is just beautiful. Look at this, look at, look at this turn. Look at this turn. For those who like to ride twisties, the type of roads like uh, Tale of the Dragon down in uh, North Carolina and uh, Tennessee, they really enjoy this kind of road because this is just like it. The only difference is uh, you're not actually uh, going through a forest. You have a huge cliff on one side of the road with the ocean down below. If I go down that cliff, you know, maybe I'll get stopped by a tree or a brush. I mean, you're going down all the way to the ocean, baby. such well-balanced motorcycles. I have the adventure model, but mine is an old bike, you know, it's a 2008. I love it, it's a really cool bike. It's big, it's heavy, it's like a Volkswagen in two wheels, Volkswagen Beetle, but it's great, you know? A lot of people think they're just not designed for off-road, you know, there's a lot of criticism out there about all kinds of bikes, that is. You know, I'm not an expert, never pretend to be an expert. I've only had uh, two bikes so far. I started in this when I was 42 years old, so it's not like I've been riding all my life, but I had already ridden quite a bit in these years. I'm 46 now. But the first one that I had was a Suzuki V-Strong, you know, and I love that bike we actually took it all the way to colorado and we did a famous colorado vdr all the off-road the entire 600 plus miles and that bike did it phenomenal people thought that i was crazy taking that bike in that kind of uh, ride without what you could consider a premium dual bike you can still have fun and do everything i mean i really did everything on that thing
houses right now in the Costa Brava. Uh, we're leaving for Cadaqués. We should be there in like 30 minutes. And later on, we're going into the mountains. Yes. A ver, a preguntar, ¿por qué estamos esperando? No. Tú llegaste media hora tarde. <laughs> que pone las reglas, las, que, las quiebra, ¿eh? Entering Cadaqués. This is the land where Dali lived many years. We are right now uh, riding the surrounding road around Cadaqués, right next to the Mediterranean Sea. Hermanito. We made it to Cadaqués, man. Look at this. Look at this beautiful bay, man. It's a precious day. This is a town where Dali spent most of his life. He was inspired. There's a, actually there's a statue of him over there at the beach square. Beautiful place. It's just stunning. Can't wait to have some vino here. side of the peninsula the, where Cadaqués is. Well, we're continuing the route from Cadaqués to Puchet Cerda. We're right now on the top of the mountains, out of Cadaqués. Uh, we got high winds here, at least. Should be around 30 to 40 miles, so we gotta be very, very cautious. Hope it's, um, it's not too bad. Uh, it's the first one in the whole trip.
Pues qué delicia. No digas mala palabra. Ah, qué delicia. Ay, qué morcilla, hermano. Si yo tuviera esa morcilla. Bueno, estoy viendo algo, una factura increíble, unos morcillones que nosotros les llamamos berrodos, unos salamines cortados gruesos, tenemos unos cantimpalos, ahí abajo unas patas de jamón serrano increíbles. Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think on the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, and right on amigos.